Okay, main event on handling and bump boards and this, that, and the other. You know that I talk a lot about handling, proper handling. We talk about putting the fish in the net over the side of the boat, keeping the head underwater, having the proper tools, hook cutters, all these things, minimizing the time out of the water, and the proper holds, supported holds, especially with real big muskies. There's been a lot of concern lately. I'm, I'm hearing from a lot of my friends, some, some guides in the industry and this, that, and the other, and I've talked about this before in some of my handling issues, is the fact of a trend towards these bump board measuring devices in the boat. It seems to be growing, 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 and there's more and more of it. Now we're even seeing where a lot of people are literally putting the fish on the bump board and trying to get pictures of it laying on the bump board to know exactly how long that is and apparently prove exactly how long it is. My point in the past is if, you know, if you're releasing the fish, maybe you don't really need to know that and maybe measuring period is, is totally unnecessary. For me, that's the case. Now for people that want to know exactly how long they are, that's not the end of the world, but we want to do it the safest way for the fish. I've suggested floating rules in the past. That's what I, when I used to measure fish, that's what I used. I, I used that for about 10 years, but now this bump board thing is interesting because I, I actually get to the point where I'm afraid on my Facebook page to share other people's photos where they're holding the fish vertically unsupported, right? Just because a lot of people will comment that, hey, that's not good for the fish. Why are you doing that? And sometimes they're kind of mean about it. Uh, obviously, we're better off with the, with the horizontal hold, but I, I got to be honest with everybody here, and, and I've told this to some of the people concerned about this bump board trend. I'd be way more concerned about the bump board trend in comparison to a quick, brief vertical hold, to be very honest. Because the thing is, we want to bring that fish out of the net when the, when the hooks are out, and we can have that hold up shot, but we're always close to the gunnel, so in case that fish thrashes and you lose control, you can just let the fish go over the side of the boat. The problem with the bump board is, it's in the boat, it's flat, I don't care who you are, I've handled tons of muskies, folks. Believe me, it's, I have a hard time controlling all of them, especially the bigger ones. If there's one of those that really want to shake, you can't control it. People who are new to muskie fishing are really going to have a problem controlling it. And the problem is simple. You try and put it on a bump board. If the bump board's dry, you're already taking some slime off. But now, the fish flops, gets out of control, it's all over the floor of the boat, possibly stuck in lures. Most of us have carpet. We're definitely wiping slime off now. The fish is beating itself up. Anyway, there's, this, there's definitely major potential for this. Of the, of the two problems, vertical holds again, I would say the bump board trend is probably the worst trend. If you want to measure or document a fish accurately, there has to be a better way. Possibly you can do it in the water. You know, there's a lot of different things to consider. But my suggestion would be that you people, especially people who you know, are looked up to, if you guide or whatever, you take a lot of people fishing, very seriously consider getting rid of the in the boat, on the floor, on the bump board verifying thing. This really needs to be talked about because honestly, if we're making comparisons and proper handling, not so proper handling, it's a pretty serious trend and one I really think that we need to get away from.